will an eternity of judging later. That is a hydrogen car. Let me elaborate. We are trying to accomplish an exploration of if an alternative fuel cell using hydrogen can be utilized for a race car. As a proof of concept, develop a model prototype. We put countless hours into doing fuel cell research and discovered the ultimate fuel cell for our project. This fuel cell uses a PEM proton exchange membrane system. A PEM fuel cell suits our design because it has one of the lowest operating temperatures out of the majority of fuel cells and an average running temp of 60 to 100 degrees Celsius, which suits the idea of the driver being in such close proximity for safe operation. The PEM fuel cell also runs off hydrogen which ticks off a major checkbox of our design consideration, being a sustainable alternative fuel. The PEM fuel cell is extremely economical, with its only output being H2O and electricity. However, it is one of the more expensive fuel cells to manufacture in its most recent developmental stage, as it requires platinum to be present to minimize carbon monoxide and dioxide poisoning of the membrane. One of our major setbacks and design considerations was the inconsistent voltage we were receiving from the PEM fuel cell, often being unstable under load conditions, causing stuttering. We temporarily fixed this issue with the use of large capacitors to smooth the electricity flow, supplying a decent amount of voltage to the electric motor at all times. However, a voltage regulator slash stabilizer could also function to smooth this out. Without some sort of buffer in between the PEM and the electric motor, we noticed major amounts of inconsistency and stuttering from the RC car. We successfully developed the small scale prototype. The next steps would be to develop a large scale prototype able to be driven by a person. 